So we're back in Sunset Valley um, with... Uh, I've done uh, these four here and these two are remaining still. And for today's episode, I'm thinking of tackling this one, but with a twist, <laughs> I'm thinking of doing it in two parts uh, because I'm not sure uh, what I'm going to do with it. So I'll, I'll explain, I'll explain, but first uh, let's get a look at it from Edit Town. So it's uh, Americana, uh, two bedrooms, two bathrooms. It's pretty well known, that house, so I've never done it. It's uninhabited, 30 by 30, um, this white painted can... What? It's yellow. <laughs> Okay. Oh, that's funny. <laughs> okay. This white painted country house encores the west end of the Skyborough neighborhood, welcoming guests in with an inviting corner facing porch. Okay. I really like the description actually. Like the white painted. Come on. It's not white. <laughs> it's yellow. <laughs> okay. So it's a bit Victorian, isn't it? It looks a bit Victorian to me. And I like that welcoming guests with an inviting corner facing porch. I like that part because uh, I've got two ideas and one is a residential lot with a twist and the other one is a community lot with a twist. So uh, I'll, I'll tell you about them after the tour. Let's visit the house. So here it is and it's definitely yellow. <laughs> it's not white. <laughs> there is a white like railing there. Um, so now I know that I need to change the siding to white. Okay. It's a bit weirdly shaped. That actually echoes the house next door here. We have the same kind of pillars like columns um, holding up the, the roof <laughs> in that I, was, I thought it was the kitchen. Oh, the kitchen is there. So a back porch, because the, the lot is actually quite big. It goes up till there and there. It's a 30 by 30. And yeah, so it actually would work well with what I have in mind. And a large uh, deck here. This overhanging part here. I, I don't know if I'm going to keep it like that and or have it like maybe have a roof there to have like a semi wrap around porch there should be an attic but i'm pretty sure there won't be an access to it even though there is a big window there so a driveway and no garage the backyard is not delineated so it's very open and this part is quite sunlit here in the morning at least. And also the entryway is, well, it's, it's said that it's an inviting uh, corner facing porch, I think. If I turn it into a community lot, uh, that's perfect type of a, it's very, as, a, as it said, it's quite inviting. So let's get inside. So, so there is a hallway too. Not all the houses have that, so it's a big hallway and I like that, the pattern on the floor. Pretty cool. So yeah, with a corridor here leading to the kitchen, with a dining corner or dining room here. These are rustic, so it goes with the um, country feel vibe of the house. And a bit of a rustic, old-fashioned kitchen, most of them are in the Sunset Valley and that's the back porch here. I actually like the that corner over there. <laughs> it's pretty. <laughs> A lone phone. Um, okay, back in the hallway. So here staircase, I suppose that's the bathroom and here rather large living room here. So yeah, that's the bath. Oh, a full-on bathroom. Okay. I understand the layout though I'm not... Mm, I, yeah, that, I, I think it can be rearranged somewhat and have like, that's a big backyard and not have an accent there. But then I don't, hmm. <laughs> we'll see, we'll see. I have ideas, but it depends on what direction I'm going to take the house. 
So upstairs, oops, I went too fast and okay, overview directly. <laughs> so what is that corner? Okay. Oh, and there is no floor there. So hello. So a big bedroom here with its own balcony there. Again, a bit of a rustic feel to it. The landing is not, is not big. Um, so access to the bathroom there and an access there. So both uh, bathroom doors lead to the bedrooms and oof, that's orange. A kiddie bedroom and no access to the, the attic, which is pretty large because the, the roof is tall. So actually there could be like, the wall can go there. So that like, so two tile white uh, here without rearranging anything. Uh, so yeah, that could be an attic. So that's the house for now. Uh, what I'm thinking of doing is rearrange the building in that first episode and then in a second episode uh, turn the building into I've got two choices. So choice number one, I was thinking of having like a bed and breakfast there and have it so um, still a residential lot but with rooms for as a bed and breakfast, you know, and so that it would um, pay up a bit in the country vibe there and have a restaurant area over there for the bed and breakfast again. So a, a residential lot, but with public areas, having like the public room marker in some areas of the house so that it would, uh, the, the seams could go there without being invited. So it, yeah, that it requires some, some manipulation. <laughs> of course, there are mods to help out, but that was the idea there. So I've already done that in a few of my towns and it works well. So it's very cozy. So that's option number one. Option number two would be to have it as, um, community lot. I'm going to do a basement and then in my option number two is have it as I guess a coffee house and still use the, the, the front porch as um, like an outdoor part of the restaurant and have it like a family restaurant and then <laughs> have in the basement, a party area, maybe a nightclub. So I can either have it as a coffee house or a nightclub, but I'm thinking coffee house, not a Java hut, a coffee house uh, from Showtime, I think, and have it be a family restaurant. So I would actually remove the, the bistro over there and I'm add the bistro, the bistro uh, rug here and have it really very much like a eatery. Um, but downstairs, it could be turned easily into like a nightclub, for instance, or a party area where you can have, um, you can celebrate birthdays, uh, anniversaries, maybe a wedding, you know, things like that. So somewhat of a venue, but I would go with a coffee house as the label, the lot assignment. So yeah, those are my two options. Uh, so I'm going to do an episode soon where I'm going to talk a bit more what I'm going to move around. But I wanted to say that I'm, I'm, I do plan on having a hotel. I don't know if it's going to be with the, the resort uh, lot assignment or if it's going to be like a campground that's the plan. So I'm going to, for this episode, I'm going to rearrange the outside, make it white. <laughs> and then I'll put up a poll on, on the, in the community tab and I'll let you vote. Is it going to be a bed and breakfast on a residential lot or a family restaurant, which is actually a coffee house, which might be turned into a party venue <laughs> uh, when needed. But yeah, let's tackle the building first. 
So the building first and uh, yeah, I've tackled the siding right away. So it's now white and it's actually a bit strange to have it like white. I'm so used to the yellow color for the house to associate the house with the, uh, the yellow siding. Uh, but yeah, it's white in the description. So uh, the roof, I'm not sure. So I, I hesitated a bit and I ended up with the darker color at the end of the episode but I might go back and have it either the dark green one or that, that one, that shiny bluish grayish uh, one uh, yeah, I'm, I'm not sure, it's a bit too contrasted I think with the darker um, color but well, I don't know, <laughs> I'm not sure so I did do a, a split level um, so I added that because I really wanted to use those tall windows here I'm, I'm putting on there and that's also because I uh, in the descriptions that it, well, it's called the Amer Americana so um, that's the type of window I associate with uh, American houses you know those windows where the window pane slides and the one at the bottom slides on the top one you know <laughs> so uh, yeah we don't have that here so that's well, those windows when I when I read American House I went straight to those windows um, here doing the layout inside so I've, as I've said it's a, there is a skip level here so actually there are two levels where there are rooms so I've added um, a floor above the living room so now there is another wing um, to the building and I've uh, flipped around the, the staircase so that the landing is now on that side where we are here and then I've worked on that new wing yeah, like on the second uh, floor because on the first floor there was that's where the living room already was so uh, now there is something else <laughs> above the living room but it's one split level <laughs> uh, lower than the rest of the second floor so the second floor is on two different levels so there are two staircases now there is the one leading to that first uh, part and then the one leading from the split level to the real second floor so there are now three bedrooms and uh, for now a ladder uh, leading to the attic which is not really uh, closed off per se because I, I didn't want to have the roof be too tall so I didn't uh, add more room to navigate uh, in the attic so it's actually like too tight wide wide but when the, the the part that is in diagonal it looks a bit bigger but it's too tight wide so uh, I've put like half walls there so that it's accessible and the sims can go there but it's not it's not a real room so then I also added a parking area in the in the back because uh, either the building the lot is going to be a bed and breakfast on a residential lot and they'll need a parking area or a family restaurant on a community lot and they'll need a parking area too so it was useful either way to have I spent some time to, to try and have it uh, with kind of a, a official access uh, near the street and I ended up uh, putting the because I've, I've, I've I'm using a sign from uh, Supernatural, even though it's like for more for a library, but I've put it like near the entrance of the parking area to make it even more official. <laughs> so then um, the layout ma might change depending on where uh, what what I'm going to do with the building, but I've done the access to the basement. So same thing, either um, choice. Uh, um, I was planning on having a basement might not be um, as useful for a bed and breakfast I'm thinking but 
actually no it would be <laughs> because well it's added room added space anyway so it's i'm taking it <laughs> and then i worked a bit more on the uh, community uh, public area i haven't started anything decoration wise because i might go a different way depending on what on, on the lot type but then i knew i wanted to use the the front uh, porch uh, the deck there as um, uh, outside um, eating uh, area and so that's why i've uh, worked a bit on it um, for now i've removed the the, the blue ish um, floorboard that, that was outside because it's also inside i think on the second floor so i've i'm going to have kept it on the side and i'm trying to see how i'm going to use it it might depend on what color roof color i'm i'm going to uh, choose at the end <laughs> but yeah I'm, I'm putting it aside and i'm going to try and use it somewhere and I think I wasn't sure at first, but now I'm thinking I'm going to go that way. Is that I'm going to have um, the rabbit hole rug for the bistro, uh, even if it's a bed and breakfast, because I've, I've got I've got the version where it's available for um, residential lots. So even I, I don't know if I can place the one from the um, community lot but I don't know if it's going to stay if you don't have the right mod um, so what it means also is that either way I'm going to remove the bistro lot from downtown uh, Sunset Valley I'm going to remove it anyway because I'll have the I've got the diner and as a community lot and then here I'm going to have the rabbit hole rug so I don't need uh, the bistro lot that was actually bothering me because the style is it's quite kind of French so <laughs> I don't know what's what it is doing there like hanging out with uh, American buildings in uh, downtown Sunset Valley <laughs> it was a bit strange there so here are the two different rugs I have and the wrong one is the residential lot friendly one so here is the building for now. I've tried to keep the, the, the same vibe, so that's also why uh, on the on that side here the second floor is a bit lower than the rest of the building because when I did it the same side size, like as tall as the rest, it looked like a bit blocky. And here I think it looks a bit more like the original one because in the original one that second floor didn't exist there so i've kept the, the front porch where it was but yeah i'm not sure about the roof i'm most likely going to change the color so if you have a preference don't hesitate to let me know so inside here uh, you have the two different rugs so this one is the one but actually for the the bistro and business center so you can also go into journalism career extra extra but it's residential lot friendly so that's the one i'm going to use if it's a residential lot and this one is actually the diner one but i think you have the same options than for the bistro so it doesn't it's just the name that's changing that changes but i think the same the same options are there so here they are and I've played them in the hallway so since it's a big hallway I thought let's take advantage of that the dining room still there with two accesses so this one would be the restaurant part and with the, the outside um, dining area and here the kitchen funnel with a back door so I've added a back porch here and here uh, the door is a double door and access to the parking area here there is an access to the that nook over there is actually near by the living room it's actually the staircase leading to the basement which for now is mostly empty uh, it's a it's l-shaped 
but it can get bigger easily um, but for now I just need that <laughs> which is already quite big then back here we're going to go upstairs so I flipped the stairs and here the, there is a, sl a split level uh, so the first part the first big room here uh, empty for now uh, and that is a staircase here too well, a few steps leading to the other two bedrooms and I've kept the big balcony and there is a ladder here leading to the attic but it's not visible because I've put a level skip marker there uh, for now and I've also put one on the split level so that you have a view of on the on the second floor let me show you so here we are on the split level so the there's a marker there I've also put one here so that you don't see the the split level to go to the basement and then on the second floor the real one here there is uh, also a level skip marker in the attic here and this is the attic with uh, that part here lower than the rest of the house. So I've tried to recreate the same balcony as you can see at the end of the new wing on the second floor. So as I've said, I'm, <laughs> I'm likely to change the, the roof and the color because it's a bit contrasted, yeah. Also I've tried to keep the two small windows like framing the tall one like on the on that uh, above the front porch uh, because it, I wanted to have a similar look to the original house because this one is not yellow <laughs> and yeah it does look different I, I think it's the color well so that's it for that first part I don't know when the second part will uh, will be ready because I need to know first uh, what direction I'm going to take it, even though both um, both choices are actually quite similar in the function. Uh, there are going to be a place where people can come hang out and eat, so maybe they can also sleep there or party there, it's going to depend on what version we're going to go with. So that's it for that episode. I'll put up uh, a poll on uh, in the community tab. Uh, if you have any remarks to do, uh, don't hesitate to let me know um, because it's not done and it can evolve easily from what we have now. <laughs> so I'll see you in a next episode that is going to be not about Americana but I'm thinking of finishing up with that district here so do the, the house over there and and then maybe another episode before the second part so that's it for this first part I'll see you in the next episode à bientôt <laughs>